Hey guys, Cullen here back at East Starland. We just got a package in. I'm curious to see what this might be. Let's take a look. All right, now let's see what kind of goods we might have in here. I'm curious with this uh, packaging, what kind of uh, something we might have. Okay, I see a big sea of foam. Could there be anything special inside? Oh my goodness, we are off to a swing and start here. Gravel Answer Generations Deluxe. Look at this, wow. Man, it's huge, is it? Oh no, you can see the seal has been cut. So it's not brand new. Oh, look at this. Man, this is like luxury gaming right here. You gotta love everything that Working Designs does. They just, they really know how to put the presentation together for <laughs> all their stuff. It's, they spare no expense when it comes to this. And I think that's almost everything. Let me just double check before we go any further. We got, oh no, we got some other goodies here. Ooh, is that a ring? Looks like we got a ring. We'll be very careful. Yeah, it's still sealed as expected. It's always, people who buy this stuff, they take very, very good care of it. And I mean, they basically don't touch it ever. They refuse. I'm probably the first person to put their grubby hands on this stuff, whatever we got in here. Oh, that's the ring. <laughs> that is the ring. Look at that. I'm almost afraid to pull it out. I don't know what we got. Oh, oh is it a necklace ring? Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs> oh, man, that's so cool. That is so awesome. <laughs> that's that's just too ballin'. Like, that's something like you wear to like a midnight release. You know, like you you put on some special gamer clothing just for that. That's that's the real deal right there. Let's see what else we got inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's so good. Oh, look at that. Working designs. I bet this is like the kind of thing like the whole like development staff got one of these after like slaving away on this game. They get some really sweet watches to commemorate it after they just signed like a hundred copies of the game. Got a soundtrack. I bet this disc has like never even been touched. Yeah, it looks pretty. Looks pretty slick. Let's take a take a sneak peek at it. Yeah, I'm probably the first human to ever touch this. Wow. Let me put that back in. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got now. This is. Oh my gosh. What do we have right here? We've got brand new Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3. Is this? I mean, they've got the new sticker on there. You never know, because that you know when we see that sticker, it's a little bit suspicious every time we see one. It's one of these, because we know the people that sell with these stickers, it's not always brand new. But I mean, this is pretty, pretty crisp looking. I don't see the signature dots, but more likely this is brand new. I, I would assume so. I mean, this looks pretty aged. Wow, Persona 3, the special edition, the, or not the special, the very first print edition of that. Now, I gotta show you right here, this is a very suspicious looking package. I would not wanna get pulled over with something like this in my back seat. But we're gonna go through it and see what we have. We got first kilo here we're going through. What do we got? Tales of Vesperia, I remember this, the Tales 10th anniversary. Very nice, very cool. Steel book in good shape. Not too messed up, we got, is this? No, okay, I thought that was new for a second. Blue Dragon. Spectral Force, I, it's probably pretty valuable. You don't see too many games like this on the 360. 360 was not big in Japan, so they didn't have too many. Now this is a pretty expensive game, and it's got some something in there. It's packing pretty strong. We got just a very thick manual, okay. <laughs> uh, very thick, nice blue disc. I, that looks like nobody has ever even touched this. That is like the most perfect disc I think I've ever seen. Wow, 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 wow. Tales of Symphonia sequel. Played the first one, it's great. Very good time, very good time. Let's see what else we got. This is exciting, I like this one a lot. We got some, some real goodies in here, let's see. Uh, Spectral Souls and Song, Legend of Heroes 3. Earlier Legend of Heroes, before the, the train games came out. Some Golden Sun, classic, really fun game to play. Fun beat em up on the, the Game Boy. Dragon Warrior 3. Got more RPGs, man, somebody's really giving up their goods here. We got. Too many good games that we're, we're taking in. Ooh, Suikoden 2. This is a little uh, not fun to touch, I'm not gonna lie. The disc is perfect though. Look at how good the disc looks. This case is like pretty grungy and I was like, okay, now this this one might be, you know, not so good, but that is, that is crisp. That is very nice. I don't even know how you take this good care of your games. Like this is like, I you must have like some white gloves that you take your discs out and put them carefully back. 
because I've, I mean, it's like as if they've never even been touched. The cases, they feel like they've sat around, but I mean, oh my gosh. I don't know, maybe somebody bought a lot of this stuff and they, they just never had time and it just sat in the attic forever. We got dot hack one. It looks like we got two. Let me guess, let me guess. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> one, two, three, four. All four of these. This one, the most expensive. This is the first rare PS2 game I ever knew about. As seen on Cartoon Network, pretty sweet. And we got, yep, both discs and they're probably both extremely pristine. Yep, absolutely. Wow, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is very expensive right here. This one at least was a couple hundred bucks. I think it was maybe even like a hundred back in the day. And that was a lot for a PS2 game. Oh no, this is a little too bad though. This is a little bit sun shaded though. Oh, but yeah, let's see if we got the, got the completed character. That is awesome. Sweet set right there. I wonder what else we might have in here because that's setting the standard pretty high to have all of those available just like that. Big JRPG fan, really taking good care of their games. This probably is coming out of less value after I've touched all of this stuff than it ever was before. We got Suikoden 4, we got 3, we got 5, we got Ghost in the Shell. Interesting. We got Devil Summoner. This one's probably one of the more expensive of the, the Devil Summoner or the, you know, Shin Megami Tensei games. This one, I know it's got that, uh, that special edition with the little plush guy, which is pretty cool. I can't even set these down properly on anything because they're all too nice. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in this one. This one's a little smaller. Oh, we got some boxes. I thought it might be 3DS. This looks like it might be NES games. Oh, not NES games. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, God. Tales of Fantasia. Lunar Legends. Oh, my gosh. These are so crisp. Like, hot off the shelf. Oh, man. There's, like, not a drop of oil from anybody's fingers on these. Gotta hold them very, very carefully. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Tactics Ogre, Riviera. More common, I feel like, this one. I feel like I've actually seen this pretty pretty often for an RPG game. And let's go ahead and crack one of these open if I can do so very delicately. And look at that. That looks almost like it's brand new inside. Look, you can see everything together just like you'd get it out of the store. Now you're riding home in the back seat after getting some Game Boy games and you're just slinging the packages everywhere, but not this person, not this right here. Oh my goodness, yeah, it is just... Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. Look at that. These are always nice. They really date you with your, your favorite gamer magazine there. That is too good of quality. Too good it's almost suspicious. I'm not actually suspicious, I believe this is genuine, but wow. I just, I can't say it enough. <laughs> All right, let's get this one back in. Okay, that was pretty clean. That was a, that was good. That was a good open. The rest of these, I think we can imagine how nice those look. That is freaking amazing. What else do we have inside? Let's see. Still got more to go. Still got Plenty of games. Castle Hoshigami. This is a shooter game, isn't it? That is not a shooter game. That is a that is a JRPG. Poyo Pop Fever. Cool. Front Mission. Seen this on PS2 before. Probably pretty sweet. Looks pretty fun, honestly. Luminous Arc. These are all, I'm sure, very expensive. This has to be a very valuable trade-in. And then, oh, Izuna. Yeah, this is an expensive one. Absolutely. Absolutely valuable. Legend of the Unemployed Ninja. Man. Sounds like a sweet life. Let's see, we got some others in here. I see a big yellow sticker on there. Let's see if the, the quality is good. If we can get into it. What do we got? Got some Xeno Saga 2. Seen that on, oh, Fatal Frame 2. I'm bitter about this. I'm, oh my God. All right, I can't ignore that. Good Lord. <laughs> oh man, Kuan. Oh my God. Okay, this is... This is like the, probably one of the, at least the most valuable game on PS2. Like that alone is probably like $100 off. This game right here, extremely rare. Didn't do well even in Japan. They still release it over here anyways, so it did even worse. 
A little bit of scratches, but that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. I'm sure that works, no problem. Um, I have played this before. Very sneaky with this. I paused the game, was talking, came back 10 minutes later. As soon as you unpause the game, jump scare right in your face. So they pull fast ones on you, some really cheap ones. This one right here, it's got a warning on it. Man, Fatal Frame 2. This is one of the, I was so into this game. I wanted this game so badly as a kid. I bought it at Blockbuster. <laughs> it was that long ago. But, oh man. And we got some Eternal Poison. This game's pretty expensive. $35 is probably at least $100 more. Oh, but we're missing a disc. How are we missing a disc? Who loses a disc for games like this? Like, this isn't like somebody's stereo at Goodwill right now. Like, they were jamming out to the soundtrack of Eternal Poison. <laughs> somebody actually slipped up and lost it. Wow, I just, I cannot believe those goods right there. And I think that might be it, unfortunately. Wow, incredibly good trading. I love it so much.